For many of us, we find using swear words incredibly releasing. Venting our anger or pain or joy is more powerful with swear words. There are studies showing swearing decreases physical and emotional pain. You read that so weird. What was that, what was that voice? I think he was like thinking about what he's going to say as he's reading it. So he went into standby AI mode or something. I think you were releasing while you were... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Wait, let me, I'll get you a towel. <laughs> wait, what kind of... Re- wait, what? Post, post-release. <laughs> what, is, what is happening? Uh, His body is cussing. <clears throat> okay, so we've got pent-up frustration, and swearing can be a way to release some of that pressure. It's a pressure release valve. Yeah, but- and I, I could make an argument that even people that don't swear have words they use to release that said pressure. And it's just not the technical, like, you know, shoot. Or screw, yeah. but it's uh, maybe it's actually shoot or screw. Uh, I think there you can make an argument that it's cussing, like it's it's relative. Like what words are considered cussing is going to change from culture to culture. None of us would say this one feels controversial. Whether it's right or wrong, this is a reason. This is like a motivation to do it. Yeah, to swear. So I, I had someone years ago. It was a father. I was coaching his daughter in soccer and. They invited me over to the house and sitting around, their daughter was playing with her sister and, and she said, ship. And the dad, they were a Christian family. He's like, why don't you just say it? It's in your heart. Oh, I like that. And I thought, I have no idea what's going on. I, I that, really had no idea. I mean, I knew. I know that logic what was yeah. going on, but, from my past. But the, the heart thing, I'm like, what? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You may have heard that. The intent was, so we just altered it. That, Remember, that whole abundance, can I tell you a funny story about sure. that? When I was in high school, I actually was a pretty good kid in high school. I think I, I there's what a hap- handful happened? of times where like I had one or two beers with friends, but nothing was ever super questionable. One night we heard that some kids from the youth group were having a party out at one of the pastor. He owned some property that was, this is in Bakersfield, like way out in the boonies. And they were going to have a party out there and there's going to be a keg. And I went, drove out there with a couple of friends and middle of the night, not middle of the night, it's pretty late though. And so we're cruising out there and walking around and just hanging out. I don't even think I had a beer. In fact, I think the keg was empty by the time I was there. So, you know, at this, I was like 16 maybe. And it's just fun. You're like, ooh, we're out here doing s- doing stuff people shouldn't know about. It's dangerous. And then these cars pull up and the pastors of the church get out. Ooh, police and, pastors. And we like run back to my friend's car and jump in. And Holy she, crickets. She's driving us out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I start swearing. I'm like, go get this fuck out of here. And, and we pull up and the pastor is right next to the passenger window where i am and he's like i think you should go home andy oh, <laughs> first name yeah, no, and then at some point he did give me the out of the heart out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak and i'm like well i was fucking scared man <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about the not funny is the That's wrong adjective uh the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks i mean yes that can apply to to cussing and, and whatnot but i think a lot of times it could re- it could apply to that church face, Sunday morning church face type thing where you're, you're presenting a certain yeah. way. Um, but then what's going on inside eventually gets betrayed um, by what you say when you're frustrated or whether, whether or not it's cussing, maybe you get angry at your spouse and you say a couple things that sure. you've been like burying deep inside. Um, this isn't related to a, a recent story on my end, just so you know. Uh, but we probably all have <laughs> versions of that where it's like, yeah, what's going on inside will come out and you can say, I didn't mean it, but it's like, nah, oftentimes you, there's something going on there that needs to be addressed. Freedom. Many of us have come out of controlling environments. Deconstruction includes freeing ourselves from oversight. Swearing is an expression of our freedom. Having been in a culture where even our words were police, swearing is a declaration of independence. I can see that. And I, I think I've I felt that I certainly feel more free to express myself in colorful language. And my stance on cussing, and I've mentioned this on the podcast with my girls talking about language in general, is like, yeah. how are you using your words? You can you can tear someone to pieces using totally non swear words. Yeah. You can ruin somebody's life. Um, and you can use swear words to build up and actually bond with people. Uh so it's like, what is the fruit 
of your swearing? Like what, what is it getting you or taking away from you or your, your community? So it's the spirit of the, the word in context, because cuss words today were not cuss words 50 years ago. And you guys remember that restaurant, the Jolly Roger? Yeah. yeah. Been there, done well, that. There's a movie it? quote where it's like, I'll give her a good Rogering. Oh, right. Roger was basically the F word. I think in England back in the day, and it became a name, a dude's name that nobody names them, their kids anymore. We'll have to go and look at what's the etymo- et- et- etymology etymology of the word. <laughs> I'm not going to look that up. Uh, <laughs> I will if somebody <laughs> wants to talk for a while. <laughs> I want to. I want to Google myself right. There is freedom in that. That can also be abused. Oh, just absolutely. like anything, like yeah. freedom. It's not you know, just because you were saved doesn't mean you get to be an asshole. Uh, the freedom to to drink can yeah. be abused. Sure, it like, gets like all good things. I've can got. Be abused. I've got a thought about this. That I'll wait. Jeff will drink to that till till we get through. And I don't know if we'll get need to get through all. No, of we don't need to. Oh my gosh! If you want to cherry pick one that's that you really liked, adulting. That's number three. We're just going in order. Okay, go ahead. Well, it's a decent one. This is the okay. way most adults talk. Not all adults swear because they can. It's normal. Some people judge those who swear by suggesting they are less intelligent and resort to lazy language. But I know very intelligent people swear and less intelligent people who don't. And this is just, it, it is kind of like like basic. Like don't, it just depends. It's, it's one of those things. It's like, read the Bible. You could read the Bible yeah. as like, this is what needs to be done exactly. Or you could look at these passages and like, okay, let's look at it like a wisdom literature. The Proverbs, this proverb says this. Does that mean it always applies? Not necessarily. And so wisdom. I, okay, <laughs> but here's a, I think a better question is in church the pastor swears at the pulpit in the middle of sermon message. I think Driscoll's what's, done that. What's what is the reaction? Depends. It just that it, in my mind that's all it's all about the context. I don't remember if it, if it was Driscoll, but I did I know there was a pastor that made waves. I, I know Driscoll did this, but the specific thing, I don't remember exactly what they were talking about, but they were trying to draw I know what it is. Okay. I think it's Tony Campolo. That sounds right. And he said something to the effect of <clears throat> um, every day, uh, I'll make this up, 10,000 kids die of starvation and you don't give a shit. And what disappoints me most is that you care more about the fact that I said the word shit than you do about those 10,000 kids. Mm. Which is true. Pro- yeah, probably. For for most of those people there, they're probably like, he just, he yeah. just said shit in church. Well, yeah, the, Im- the importance of the message then some word, in far as you're concerned, or the pastor is concerned, is ancillary. It's just, it's a trivial thing in what is actually being spoken. And it's actually putting people and having them reflect like, oh, he's right. Yeah. His point wasn't about swearing. His point was yep. about where where are your values? Mm-hmm. What, are you, what are you caring most about? Are you caring most about uh, checking the boxes of politeness or are you caring mo- mostly about people? Now, those things don't have to be in opposition. Like you don't have to choose between right. the two. But yeah, I, I, it's a, he used it as a, like a mechanism, a speaking a tool. To grab. And he grabbed. And he and he's, grabbed. And he's been, it's still been grabbing. He's been grabbing nonstop since then. Yeah. That grab has gone decades. I said, my way to grab her. That was a terrible one. I've uh, our former pastor. I've I've seen uh, cuss twice, t- twice. Uh, once on a Sunday and once at a men's retreat, and both of them I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, men's retreats different. It's all it's all guys up in the mountains. Yeah, we're like doing baby oil and like wrestling. Oh yeah, um, I did. Wait, I did. T- I didn't go to those. <laughs> Oh, that was a secret session. That before <laughs> that was a secret <laughs> sin before session. Secret sin session. Are you going to the I'm triple? Gonna, please, del- we'll edit that out. That's that's not a good thought. To the triple S <laughs> later. What? No, I'm going to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Can you uh, hand me another hop? Well, actually, water? sleep is the third S in the triple S yeah. session. So. I I told it's the fourth S. I told a story to another Christian who goes to a different church in a totally different part of the state. Um, a story where, and as I was in the middle of the story, I'm like, yeah. And the pastor was like, that is crap. Blah, blah. But as I kept going on with the story, after I said crap, I then heard audibly her be like. Oh, about the word reacting crap. to crap. Crap was a bridge too far yeah, uh, for which, her. Which, th- so that that leads to 
and maybe I'll read his conclusion after this and we can, we can move on. Uh, when you're in a new situation, like the default is like awareness, social awareness. Yeah, totally. Like go to what's most acceptable in front of 99% of people. Crap wouldn't, <laughs> I would not have chambered crap in this situation because who freaks out about that? So that might've got me in trouble with her too. Right. But I, I'm not going to speak like I do on this podcast, like in, in the church that we go to, because not because I'm being inauthentic, just no, I know it will throw people and they don't have to listen to our podcast. And plenty of people True. stumbled upon our podcast and realized like, Oh my God, they're cuss. Oh, they wouldn't say, Oh my God. They say, Oh my gosh. Yeah, and, and, context. We're all, and we're all adults. So everybody out there realizes that, why you go into a church or when you're in an environment where like, this is a Christian environment. So everybody needs to talk a certain way. It was like, I like really? that. That's my <laughs> new favorite voice of yours. Really? That was almost Jim Gaffigan. -y. That was great. <laughs> uh, wait, <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know why are these guys, are these guys Christians? <laughs> are they even talking about Christian things? I totally lost my train of thought. They so. probably put booze in hot pockets. <laughs> and okay. They, and then they cuss on. when they burn their mouths. <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. Good. You missed an episode. F you. <laughs> my feelings are hurt. So what if it was your wife's birthday? Sex, stop doing the to me. Yeah. Okay. But go ahead. But you're right. Like use appropriate expectations for the setting that you're in. Right. I, I, have, I swear at work every once in a while. But, but you wouldn't open up a can of whoop ass. Like, oh. Let's get this shit on. You guys sit down. This is going to be amazing. Be like, ah. I just, I just watch Idiocracy with my kids, of course. <laughs> Which is this, a running theme. Yeah, this is Zach's vocabulary session. Let's watch Idiocracy. Oh we'll and pause. For, for those that know, President Camacho um, starts a speech and he starts it with <laughs> shit. And then it goes behind him and you see the teleprompter and that's the, it's like literally written out. And that just made me laugh when you said that, Jeff. Uh, David Hayward closes it out, close is it out with, there are probably a lot more reasons to swear, but who needs a reason? Why do we need to police our words? Of course, I want to only say things that are helpful, honest, and true. I want to speak in ways that build up the good, bring down the bad. If swearing helps me do that, then I will. Out of the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Swearing can be a healthy part of that process. And to that, I say amen. I did want to add one one thing. Do it. Which is, there is a point where uh, swear words can be powerful. They can be used in very powerful ways. And and if it's just... If used oh, in little increments. Exactly. So if you're just using every other word and it's it's like breathing, it becomes a comma in your sentences then it loses right. all power and and you tend to lose respect for those those people as well. Yeah, this is yeah. a good point. It's a powerful word because it it doesn't get used that often. Yeah. It's saved. Yeah, I like that. And so if you if it is used intentionally. The way I use like on this podcast, which every time I listen back to this podcast, I don't feel bad. I do. But I I say like a lot cuz I'm just thinking my mind it's the way my mind works. I get scrambled a little bit. I got a little bit of dyslexia and so I'll like it's a little buffer yeah, time. Fucking did it. Yeah, say it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. I think I just proved my point. That was, God, that was damn. so fantastic. I'm working on it, believe it or not. I can so. see the I can see the buffering just like <laughs> for sure. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yes, the point that I think we all agree on is like, uh, don't be loose with it. Don't don't say it like you're just breathing out all the time. That that's that's what's always happening.